I played the year with Neptune, obviously, and then the whole COVID situation came in. And then I was going to play with Neptune another year, and then COVID stopped that again. And then the more and more time I had to realise I was getting older, like Blue Demons was my club since I was young. So they were they were coming back in with their young team, going back to Division 1. So I decided I wanted to go back home, basically, you know, and help the young fellas. And, and here we are now. And how has that gone, I guess, the last kind of several months in terms of that, obviously, transition? It's a, it's a big transition to make to try and recover to where you were, I suppose. Yeah, look, it, it, it was very big. Starting off, obviously, when I joined the team, I was coming off winning the, the championship with the Irish team. So that was at a very high level, a high standard. Everything was done to a high standard. And then I walked into to the Division 1 setup with Demons and it was completely different. You know, it kind of it took me back. So I kind of had to regain my composure. It's like, okay, this this is a work. This is not a finished product where we were with the Irish team. So that that was something I had to kind of rein myself in a bit and learn myself. But it, it's going good now. And like the work Danny has done, could you kind of comment on, I guess, the whole project, I suppose, and the different strings he's pulled yeah, together I mean, to get back look, to Danny was living in Dublin and then when he moved back to Cork, he, he's a very proud club man. You know, he loves, he loves Blue Demons. So he took over this as a challenge and this is the, the goal that he wanted to have. So he's he's kept the train on the tracks and things are looking very positive for the future. Good stuff. And this weekend then, in terms of Drogheda, what would you expect from them and what do you know about them? Um, look, I, I've seen them play in the semi-final. Obviously, there's, in this day and age, you think there'll be a lot more video and stuff that you can look at, but unfortunately there's not. So um, look, they'll be tough. They'll be gritty. It's a national cup final. I know anyone says anything can happen, but that's that's the reality of it. Anything can happen. If you win there complacent, you you'll be knocked right back, and you're chasing the game, and that's a position you don't want to be in. For sure. And uh, I think you're 32 now, if I'm right. Like you mentioned it there. Like, but do you, do you feel any miles on the clock? Like, is your enthusiasm, motivation for it as as fresh as it ever was at this stage? Um, no, it's tough when you, when you look and you see things are months away and whatever, and, and mentally that's kind of like, oh, here we go again, you have to do all this training. But like this, you know, when, when it leads into the weeks like this, where it's actually here and happening, the motivation is at an all-time high again. So, so th there'll be no lack of motivation or energy or anything like that. Brilliant. And just finally for me, how big would a win this weekend be in terms of the, the path forward for Demons? Uh, it would be massive. It would be massive. Obviously, I've had the experience. I've done it there. I've done it at Super League. But for these young kids coming up, they, COVID took away many finals that they were going to play in. So they're all well up for this final.